At last, we made it. How do we get in? Look on. This stone. There's a. The natives' beliefs are based. If we want this door to open, I am. Now we have to find out what we should offer. Here is my offering to the Cave of Knowledge. There. Place the seed on the stone. Seems like this painting depicts some kind of ritual. Yes. The character at the center is pouring blood on a stone. And one of these giant creatures that the natives call Nardigs is present. The location looks like the stone circle where we met the two young natives. The character has changed. He now resembles an Onol Manawi. You're right. They even depict his bond to the forest. Someone's coming. Let's hide. If anyone finds us here, we're sure to lose the trust of the islanders. Esco halen, esco valg me da gengo selerge mantadabem. Avenundanum. Mach, es voglen daiga ni dao. A yigi dames et yer como lei. Kair to, Morian. Ages radai de radi dao em tairger began. Kauden es greta como lei. Nas oltargo tu, vreg de tet mad advat. Abud antadab me en ekekam. No adaholic. The paintings in the cave were magnificent and have taught us so much. It is obvious that they depict the bonding ritual and its consequences. It is by pouring their blood on the raised stones that the natives become metamorphs. I'm not really sure if I follow you. And yet it's clear to see. The islanders think that their ritual has magic consequences, but there must be some sort of contamination in their blood as they pour it. The only way to verify this theory is to attend a full ritual. We must attend year ones. How will we know when it takes place? Dunkus said it would take place after the young people visited the cave, and they will most likely need some preparation. We should go to the Holy Circle of Kurganau tomorrow. What do you say? Will you come with me? Very well. I hope that Dunkus will not be too angry after seeing us there. Let's take some time to rest, and then we'll go back to the place where we met them.
to my help. And death to the others! Sade, I'm happy to see you. Can I do anything for you? What did you think about that moment next to the campfire with the elders of Begigador? It was strange, and a bit frustrating to be honest. What about you? How did you feel? It was peculiar and mysterious. It was as if we were observing a game without fully knowing the rules. However, it seems to me that we learned a few things, being with them at that moment. This is true. In my opinion, knowledge should be shared. That's why I'm so impatient when it comes to secrets. But your attitude is wiser. I will ponder the question. You've given me a lot to think about. Anything else? I must leave you.
again. Your curiosity is truly unquenchable. Forgive our intrusion, Dunkus. But I really want to attend Yewan's ritual. I have learned a lot thanks to you, but I still have so much left to understand. If you were one of ours, Afra, I would be flattered to have such an inquisitive and resolute apprentice. You can attend the ritual, but promise me that you will be discreet. No Renaixe ever had this honor before. We will do everything in our power to prove ourselves worthy of your trust, Dunkus. How are you? You must be feeling impatient. Impatient, yes, and a little bit afraid as well. It's only natural to be afraid, Yerwan. It's a new life starting for you, but I will be by your side, now and forever. You look preoccupied. Our people have suffered many lion's attacks, often during rituals. In some villages, all the young Sinal Manawi were abducted. You seem different from the other Zafra, but I can't help worrying. I have nothing to do with these attacks, Dunkus, I swear. I believe you. Otherwise, you would not be here with us. But I hope that your brothers will not be there in the shadows, ready to pounce on our children. Times really must have changed for some Renaixe to attend our rituals. These are very different from the others. Their leader is an Onol Menawi, after all. I know I look like them, but I'm not one of them. You may not be bonded, but your parents must have been. You should be proud and happy about it. It is probably thanks to your bond that Duncas has accepted your presence. Nestiri, Adesta Marar Mam. Meneda, 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 You are an Onol Manawi now, Yawan. And soon you will heal the earth by our sides. Like a real Donegad. Thank you, Donkas. I feel so proud. I am so happy that we can be Voglin Daiga together at last. What about you, Afra? Did you find the answers you were looking for? It's strange. I didn't exactly understand what happened. But I am moved. Some events must be understood with the heart, not the head. It seems like you are right, Tunkus. We are under attack. They won't touch you. Decide we have to protect them. You can count on me.
I cannot wait. Stiri, a desta marar mam. Meneda, 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 meneda. You are an on Thank you, don't boy and what it's the summer. It's we are. They won't touch you. Desade, we have to protect them. You can count on me. Thank you. It's... it's... They won't touch you! Decide you have to protect them! You can count on me! To my help! And death to the others! Curiosity Afra has saved lives. If it weren't for you, people from my village would have been abducted or killed. I am infinitely grateful, especially considering that fighting against your brothers could not have been easy. Indeed. These people were brutes. They had it coming. However, you don't know how right you are, Dunkus. I recognize some of these men. Really? Did they belong to the governor's court? No. They worked for my former master, Dr. Asili. I was his student for a long time before I realized that this man's methods were... questionable. He was so obsessed with his goals that he became cruel. 
But I can't believe he'd go as far as abducting people for his experiments. You think that the Onolma now are used for experiments? Now that I have seen these soldiers, I am certain of it. And I am afraid they may suffer atrocious treatment under the guise of scientific progress. I am so ashamed. Come now, shame serves no purpose. And you are proof that the Loyans are not all the same. Thank you, Dunkus. And thank you, Desade. You opened my eyes. My dear cousin, come closer and tell me what brings you... Uh... I'm going to leave now. Goodbye, Constantine. Look out for yourself. the key.
Sir de Corsillon. The Sade, my young student. What can I do for you? I found no traces of Professor Serafedin yet. That's most regrettable. But keep looking for him, will you? You never know. Can your old professor still prove himself useful? The mission you entrusted me with has made great progress. Very well. Let's see. Good. You have traveled great distances. And the Terra Incognita will soon be but a distant memory. Keep doing what you're doing, Dosade. Can your old professor still prove himself useful? I have come to find you because I received a complaint from the natives of the village of Vigigador. They want to be able to access a clearing, exploited by our woodcutters, to heal it. To reforest it, I assume. But our men there say that it belongs to them, and are refusing to let the natives enter it. The site was supposedly ceded to them several months ago, but tensions are running high and some men have lost their lives. If we don't intervene, we're heading for a real confrontation. It is very regrettable, and I approve of your desire to appease this conflict. According to what you have told me, if ever there was a contract, it must have been signed under our former governor. You should go to the archives and verify this. Then go and talk to Lady Laureen de Morange. And of course, I'll be delighted to help you once things have been clarified. Thank you, Professor. Once more, you've been of great help. Can your old Professor still prove himself useful? Looking forward to seeing you again.
It's blocked. It's blocked. Good day, dear sir. Happy to see you again in such fine health. How can I be of service? I need you to enlighten me about the property deed of a glade near Vigigador. The natives want to access this place which, according to them, is sacred and which they would like to heal. But some of our men there are using this deed to deny them access to the area. Tensions are running high and some people have died. Yes, there was a time when we enacted a lot of contracts. Do you have the document with you? Yes, here it is. Hmm. This session agreement is only signed with a cross on the native side. Well, writing is foreign to them. As is the notion of land ownership. For them, the earth only belongs to itself. If they did not possess these lands, how did they cede them? Well, I doubt they knew what this agreement represented, to be honest. In that case, why make them sign it? When we arrived on the island, we had to ensure our access to certain commodities. We also had to make sure that we had legal ownership of the lands we were occupying. The natives dreamed of possessing some baubles that they didn't know how to craft. It was easy to make them sign agreements that they didn't understand by giving them some. I was a stranger to their philosophy then. I only thought about my city, and I regret it. I'm sure we can fix this mistake. I hope so, Your Excellency. Come, let's find Sir de Corsilion. Can I help you with any other matter? My lady, I have to go. Goodbye. Sir de Corsilion, it's always a pleasure. Madame, I expect you've come to see me about this regrettable problem concerning a clearing, which my student told me about. Indeed, and I think I may have a solution that will allow us to solve this conflict peacefully. Hmm, I'm listening. I must admit that I established this at a time when the culture and the mentality of the natives was foreign to me. The clan of this village was rather open to our presence. They welcomed us with benevolence. For this reason, I think we should allow them access to these lands. In doing so, we would appease the tensions, and we would also retain ownership of the wood. We would even benefit from such an agreement if the natives reforest this area. Then we could exploit it for a longer period of time. I find this decision perfectly viable, and I approve, but several men were killed and their comrades will seek vengeance if the personal persons responsible do not pay for their crimes. I am convinced that Dunkus, the chief of this clan, never approves such an action. I understand, but I will only write a decree allowing people to go to this clearing, provided the murderer is delivered to us. Thank you, Master. I will inform Dunkus of your decision.
What brings you here on Omanawi? At this old man's request, I investigated the conflict that opposes you and my nation regarding the clearing. You will now be able to access it freely, to accomplish your rituals or heal the area, and the congregation will keep exploiting the forest. However, there is one condition to this new agreement. You must deliver this man to us because he is responsible for the deaths of several woodcutters. These men died because of their own foolishness. No one else is responsible for their deaths. If they hadn't cut all the ochre berry trees, they would have survived. What does that mean? What are the two of you talking about? Three woodcutters died after eating the meat of an andrig after it was killed by a venomous Dawson tats. It's nothing but a terrible coincidence. And if they had eaten the ochre berries... We know that you are responsible for this. The hunters told me everything. How could you do this? You acted more foolishly than an irascible adolescent. Boy, killing these men, you have brought upon us their wrath. And it is only natural that they should ask for justice. Dunkus, I beg you. I only wanted the Renoixe to understand the value of the trees they were cutting. Bloodshed only leads to more bloodshed. And you know that. I would never have thought you capable of doing something so foolish. If you want to stop the woodcutters taking vengeance into their own hands, you must deliver this man to us. I understand. But I have one condition before we make this agreement. The Lugayer Blau fooled us in the past. It is their turn to prove their good faith. What do you want from us? There is a mine in the forest that the congregation has long operated with help from my people. But digging into the mountain has risked it collapsing. We reinforced the earth with wood. We worked with the Lugade Blau to save the mountain and the men. We agreed to stop digging and sealed the entrance with a boulder. But some Renaigse came back, and I think they started digging again. And some of my people started going missing. Perhaps because they had seen them break their promise. If the mountain collapses and it is your clan's fault, thousands of lives will be lost. And you want me to intervene? You have to stop them. Remind them of their promise. This is the price of my trust. If you do, we punish the person responsible for the death of the woodcutters, and all our quarrels will be gone. I'll go to this mine and see what's going on. Is there anything else? I must leave. Goodbye, Dunkers. Kwa Awalam Seng.
sorry, this is private property. I cannot allow you to enter. Actually, no one should be able to enter. This mine is doomed. It's terribly dangerous. I wouldn't know. Our employer, Mr. Mayard, is the owner. He's got all the deeds required. Listen, you should go to the authorities. They can confirm all the paperwork. I definitely will. Sorry, this is private property. this is. We should take a closer look. We should take the path that overlooks the outer wall. We should be able to see inside from there. Those reckless fools. They've resumed operations in the mine. Those chained natives are no doubt the ones Dunker spoke about. They use them to operate the mine. They've made them into slaves. We must talk to Sir de Corsillon. I hope that our nation is not involved in this business.
Your Excellency, it is an honor. Sir de Corsillon. The Sade, my young student. What can I do for you? I've come to ask you about a mine near Vigigador. It was closed for a long time for security reasons. But someone has started exploiting it again. Hmm. I seem to recall that a concession in this area was sold to a master Maillard. However, I do not recall the details of the contract. It was established by the previous government. He is a rich merchant from Serene who arrived on the island only a short while before we did. People say that he is unscrupulous. <laughs> unscrupulous? That's an understatement. This man had some natives captured and he's using them as slaves to work in this mine. What? Does this old brigand really think that he is above the law? We cannot tolerate such methods. But... We must determine the best way to attack him. You should start by finding the deed to his property in the archives. Don't worry. We'll not let this man's behavior go unpunished. Can your old professor still prove himself useful? Looking forward to seeing you again. Are these documents written in a foreign language? I get lost in all the legal jargon. But they have Lady Moronge's seal on them. We should find her to understand exactly what they say. Hey, dear sir, happy to see you again in such fine health. How can I be of service? I need your advice once more. This time it's about the property deeds of a plot of land and of a mine acquired by a certain Maillard. Here are the deeds. I must admit that I understand very little of what's written, but your seal is on it. Hmm, do not worry, this type of document is always difficult to decipher for the uninitiated. However, they are very clear. Master Maillard is the owner of a plot of land located near Vigigador. He can exploit the forest and plant anything he wants there, but it says here that he does not have the right to exploit the mine. It's even repeated in this other paragraph. Any attempt at mining on this land is forbidden. And yet the mine which was located on this plot of land has been reopened and is being exploited as we speak. According to these documents, the mine has been closed for security reasons. 
This man's behaviour is reckless. You should go see him. He's presently in New Serene. He usually spends time at the port when he comes. He has some warehouses there. Good day, Your 